Hello, welcome everyone. This is Vandana Dhala. I am board certified holistic health counselor, yoga teacher, and relationship life coach. I also got advanced education on holistic approach and shared speaking stage with Dr. Deepak Chopra and Dr. Andrew Will. I was also honored by Ms. Joss Steve, Mayor of Milpitas, California for my holistic services and women in action. From last 20 years, I am working with women for healthy living and harmonized relationships. I see a lot of people in this tele-seminar tele series, number one, spark your relationship with love flame. A little bit housekeeping so our, our class will go smoothly. I want to cover as much as I can today. During the class, we may not have time for individual QA sessions. So please email them later if I not open line before we close today. So please hold to your questions to the end. Make sure you have pen and paper handy. Do write down your note. Please, people, the uh, the people miss the live class later. They can get this recording in the membership site or our program site. Uh, membership site is time to change in a circle dot com, and program site is himwellness dot com. Okay, let's start and. So the today's topic is spark your relationship with love flame. We all strive for good relationship in our life because without good and effective relationship it become very hard to survive in the society. Happy and healthy relationship are also essential for our physical, mental and emotional health but we often lack these kind of healthy and long-lasting relationships, whether it comes to friends, family, or husband-wife. There is a true parameter for healthy relationship, and surprisingly, it is very basic things that almost everyone forgets to implement in their daily lives and screw all the relationships. I will discuss some of very basic rules that can create magic in your relationship from now onwards. First of all, I will talk the responsibility from both ends. Feeling responsible yourself is very crucial in relationship and no matter which relationship we are talking about. You must feel yourself responsible for that relationship from your side and take care of certain things like instead of just playing the blame game, you can listen to other person's whole story carefully and without being biased, make your decision with your full responsibility, which is to keep other person happy and safe. Talking rudely and thinking yourself always right is not the way to handle any relationship, whether it is with your elder, youngers, or with your mate. You need to be polite and proactive about your thoughts. The moment you start feeling yourself responsible for the relationship, it will allow you to find some mutual agreement that will be beneficial for the both parties. If you are already nurturing your relationship, then add some responsibility in those relationships and things will start to get better more and more. Now we will go to the second rule 
to make our relationship healthy very important care and attention towards relationship care is another very crucial part of our relationship because no matter which relationship you are in you will always love to have someone care about you this is human nature that we always love attention and care similar case apply to everyone who is attached to you your family your friend and your boyfriend or girlfriend everyone is starving for your care and attention i totally believe that you only get what you give and this rule applies to relationship perfectly you cannot expect your friend to take care of you if you are not providing them same level of care and attention similarly your boyfriend or girlfriend will never trust you if you keep checking their phone calls and email with all give and take because nobody in this world is perfect which includes you as well there are shortcomings in everyone but you need to ignore those shortcomings found in others if you want that they should ignore you so you ignore there as well if you started to explore their shortcomings then it will start a war in which both parties will always be looking for some bad thing in each other here is another important thing that you need to know you also need to take care of the emotional bank in your relationship this is true that whenever you make a relationship then a emotional bank account is created and your actions feelings words gestures and everything which you do in that relationship add some emotion in that bank account if you deposit happy moment good gesture caring feeling then you can withdraw love and care in return but if you start to deposit hate secret rude behavior ignorance then it will make things worse and you will not get anything in return but your emotional account will get jammed and you will not be able to withdraw anything okay now let's go to talk about enhancing your communication between relationship very very important now some people can relate to that communication failure is another thing which causes chaos in relationship because most of the people they communication in a negative perspective and they think that they convey their idea their thought and their rules which complete their communication but this is just one half of the communication and you are missing the other half which is listening and understanding the thought and ideas of other party you need to stop thinking that everyone around you also think as you think because this is a worst approach which your mind often convinces you to adopt but you should not adopt this very dangerous even if you need to reject their ideas 
then first listen to them carefully and then give a logical explanation of your rejection. You need to understand the differences between the both parties. You may be on different grounds while the other one may be on totally different grounds. If you are able to understand and cope with these differences, then you can certainly make that relationship work for you. So now we will go further. Uh, finally, I would like to share some important on giving your loved ones their time. That's my favorite. This is also a crucial thing in building relationships because every relationship will need your time. You need to adjust your routine accordingly and nourish all of your relationships with proper timing. Instead of keeping your routine very tight and predictable, make it unpredictable and sometimes and do things without your routine. Escape your work somehow in midweek and make a visit to your parents' home. They will be very happy to see you around in middle of the week and will also appreciate your effort that you have prioritized them over your work. Similarly, relationships are made stronger when you are shared up and down of life together. If your friends in your trouble, then your responsibility to be the him or her at that time of crisis and if you do that then they will never forget your gesture and will get more attached with you. If you can implement all of the above things in your life then it will make all of your relationship better and more solid. These are very common and routine things, but in busy routine of our life, we often overlook and forget all of these factors and it creates force around our relationship. Keep these things in mind and make your relationship stronger and smoother. So for today is all that and in next series we will be talking about relationship especially for husband and wife and now I would like to say thanks to everyone for letting me to serve my services I feel so blessed if you are ready to enjoy harmonious relationship in 90 days or less then I will invite you for your relationship transformation to say yes. By enrolling today, you will get exclusive offer. For your redesign your marriage program, it's only today until midnight, California time. So please Go to the website if you can now. You can contact me through website himwellness.com. That's our program website. H Y M N W E L L N E S S dot com. Or you can go to our membership website. That is a time to change in a circle dot com. That's C I M E number two. C H A N G E I N N E R C I R E L E. 
so everyone thank you very much i think we will be closing for today and i will i see lot of questions are coming so let me go through some questions and reply them um until then have a wonderful wonderful day and see you next time